Hey y'all. So we're just gonna sit here today. We've been at work. Well, I've been at work. Sarah was off today. I've got to stay home. And so today was the teacher work day. So I went in to work this morning a little bit early because we had a report that had to go into the state. It had to be in by midnight tonight. And we got it done, but I did work until five o'clock. So I worked from about 6.30 till five today and uh, included eating lunch at my desk while I was working. And so that's not a, that's not a fun work day. No, it doesn't sound like it was fun at all. He ate two fireballs today. He's got a jar of fireballs at his office and he's counted out all of them from, you know, like the first of school all the way out till the end of school. And the thing is, well, and this is his last year too, so when he runs out of fire, he quits. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. The sign the sign says eat one a day, extra on bad days, and when the fire's gone, so am I. <laughs> well, Friday I ate three. Today I ate two. So in I, two days I've had five. I think your uh, days are getting shorter and shorter. <laughs> That's right. We'll be taking lots of vacation towards the end of school, apparently. <laughs> it sounds like it. But you can afford it because you've got plenty of vacation days. Yeah, I've got a lot of vacation days. The thing about vacation with the school board is they pay you full value for your vacation days. So if I use my vacation days, I'm losing a lot of money. Well, it's better to lose money than lose your mind. <laughs> Too late for that. I think I've already done that. <laughs> well, you, the, can't, you can't say you lost your marble or you lost your fire. That's right. Uh, well, also, while we're sitting here, we, we're watching sad news. Our next door neighbor is moving. Uh, Aww, he's, so been a, he's been a good neighbor. He's, uh, he's quiet. He keeps to himself. But he uh, does a good job of taking care of his yard. But, uh, yeah, we don't know. He's got his his house sold within just a matter of a few days. So like three days, he yeah. put it on the market. Three days later, it was gone. So Yolanda, kudos to you because you were his realtor. <laughs> a great job of selling. So that also raises a question, kind of for us. You know, how quick could our house sell if we put it on the market? Uh, it might be scary to put it on the market and. Uh, it gets sold out for a month or less. Well, it's kind of what happened to um, Efren. Efren, okay. Um, also, when we're looking at the video or when we're looking at the camera, uh, we need to make sure we're looking over here to the side because the camera eye is right there. So then we'll be looking at the people and not here, whereas we're looking at ourselves. Oh, okay. So we have to remember to talk to the camera and not talk while well, we can look at each other. <laughs> Ew! Just Who wants kidding. to do that? Well, we also heard some uh, sad news, very sad news today. Um, a, a good friend of ours in the church, um, Tammy Little, she was our music minister's wife. She passed away after uh, struggling for a little over three years with brain cancer and um, our hearts go out to the family uh, because we know it was uh, it's, it's just gonna be really tough yeah in a, in a case like that especially when the person knows the Lord and you know the person knows the Lord you don't really you're not really so sad for them because they, and it sounds cliche, but they're in a much better place because they've gone to be with the Lord. It's the family that's left behind that, that uh, needs prayers, comfort, and needs a helping hand from all of us. Yes, but um, Tammy's last wish was that, um, that you come to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So the way you do that, honey, is that you have to do three things. We'll make it real simple, just like they teach kids. You have to admit that you're a sinner. You have to believe that Jesus was the Son of God. 
and you have to that he came and he gave his life for us because we're none of us are good enough to go to heaven yeah. on our own. There's mm-hmm. nothing that we can do to deserve it. And three, not only believe, but you have to confess. Confess that Jesus is Lord over all. He's the only one. And that uh, you invite him in your hearts. You believe that uh, he died on the cross for your sins that he is the son of God and after he died he was in the tomb three days and he was raised from the dead um, and he went to heaven because we're supposed to we're supposed to follow after Jesus as Christians and so the way that we follow after Jesus is to actually follow him and go on to heaven yeah so that's kind of the gospel in a nutshell um, it's up to you what you do with that information. Uh, it is biblical. Um, we can quote you scripture on it, but you probably don't want to hear that. <laughs> yes, yes, we do, we do. <laughs> so we're just sitting out here enjoying the, the afternoon or the evening, really, early evening, late afternoon. It's about 7 o'clock. And this is the best time, as far as I'm concerned, to come out and just sit in our swing under the tree and wave at people as they go by and just enjoy the, the pre-twilight when the humidity level has dropped some and it's cooler and just enjoy the end of the day, sit and relax. Especially after days like today at work where I need a little bit of non-hectic time. Yeah. Of course, you, you men always need time to decompress after work and try to give you all that. So, wives, when your men come home from work, don't automatically go into what problems that you had during the day. They've been dealing with their own problems and they need an escape for just a little bit. So give them that free time that they need. It'll help your marriage tremendously. And husbands, make sure that you don't distance yourselves from your wife. No matter how hard your day was, remember that they've had a day too. If they work outside the home, they've had probably just as many struggles as you've had. If they've worked inside the home, they've been busy and they've had struggles at home also. So make sure you give them a hug. Make sure you give them a kiss. (laughs) Tell them you love them. I love you. Tell them you appreciate them. I appreciate you. (laughs) And life will be good. Remember, happy wife, happy Happy life. life. (laughs) And if mama ain't happy, ain't Ain't nobody nobody happy. happy. (laughs) All right, we've we've gone uh, over our time about six minutes. So uh, we'll just say what we always say. Bye, Bye, y'all.